Yesterday, the CDC shortened its physical distancing guidelines for children in schools from six to three feet. ABC 17's Chanel Porter is live from Columbia Public Schools Administration Building after checking in with how this will change guidelines in our local schools. And Chanel, school leaders tell you social distancing has not been easy throughout the state. Connor, after the CDC confirmed with three different studies that three feet is acceptable in schools, districts in our area are not looking to change much to their original plans that were in place. Last week, the journal Clinical Infectious Diseases published a study that looked at COVID-19 in 251 Massachusetts school districts over a four-month period of time. The study found that physical distancing of at least three feet between students is safe in schools. CDC is publishing three new studies in the MMWR that add to this evidence base. Walensky said that shortening the distance will only work if students and staff remain masked. Spokeswoman for CPS Michelle Bombstark responded to the news saying that it is not not realistic with the number of students and the size of the district. They will, however, continue to enforce practices of assigned seats, hand washing, and more, but distancing cannot be guaranteed. Jefferson City Schools have been teaching in person since August. Spokeswoman Ryan Burns said they do not plan to alter their initial protocols that have been in place since the beginning of the school year. The guidance from the CDC has reinforced to them that what they have been doing all year is the safe and best practice. A spokesman for the Missouri Teachers Association said it has been a challenge for districts, but distancing will still be done when possible. Buildings and there are rooms that allow for social distancing, and I'm I'm guessing that that social distancing will continue to take place in the in the locations where where it's still possible. The CDC studies show that the transmission of the virus occurred at a lower rate in classrooms than in the community because of the multiple different prevention strategies that are being enforced. Reporting live in Columbia, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. Thank you so much, Chanel. CPS is set to return to five days a per week in in-person learning after spring break, as they have seen cases in the district decreasing and the number of vaccinations for staff increasing.